call to discuss this. President of Schottenstein Real Estate Group, Brian Schottenstein, he was instrumental in some of these negotiations, and the athletics director at Towson University, Tim Leonard. Both of you, welcome to the program. Thanks for having us on. Brian, let's, let's start with you, Brian. Uh, you and I had talked before we knew that Big Ten football would come back. How hard was this getting it done? Well, it took a lot of time. I mean, more than I thought it should. But, uh, you know, the President Trump really wanted this hap to happen since day one. Um, back in August when I spoke to him, he, he knew how important this was. And here we are, and it's going to happen. October 24th, the Big Ten season will start. Well, I'll tell you what, even going into the election, and I do believe a lot of this for the the Big Ten was about politics at play here. It's no coincidence these are all these are all swing states. Um, Tim, I want to ask you, you're an athletic director at, at Towson. You guys aren't playing football. Does it upset you? Where do you stand on all this? Well, it's 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 disappointing, obviously. This is what we do for a, a living, a career. It's our passion and and we all are, were excited and hopeful we could play, but at the end of the day, just got to the point where there was nobody in this region that was going to play football um, at our level. So it it got to the point where we just had no other option. Um, and so it's you know it's disappointing, but it it is what it is. Tim, this is a tough question for you. Is this about the colleges and universities being fearful of getting sued and, and the politics at play in all of this more than it really is about kids' safety? I, I don't know. It's hard to say because um, it, it's so hard to figure out what's really, truly going on with the virus, right? It depends on where you're getting your, your information and and what day of the week it is, it seems like. But we've worked closely with our doctors. But again, it just got to the point where there were going to be no schools that we could play in this region because everyone um, was opting not to play. And financially, it got to a point where it just it, we couldn't move forward. Yeah. Brian, what about from your perspective? So you were instrumental. You got a, you got a, a Ohio State. You, you got Wisconsin. You've got Michigan. You got all these states. Do you think politics were at play here from shutting this football game down? I don't think it really should be political because everybody wanted to play. The, the players, the parents, the athletic directors, the president, you know, presidents had to be swayed. But um now they have all the testing in place where they're going to test the athletes every single day. So it, it does get expensive. Um, so the Big Ten is going to pay for that, and uh, get, that's going to help make it happen as well. You, you know, Brian, you had parents that offered up lawsuits. You had players that, that offered up lawsuits uh, across the college spectrum. And, and, of course, you had some big-time college players coming out and speaking out against the idea of not playing. How helpful was that in your negotiations, Brian? I think it all helped. It started with our quarterback at Ohio State, Justin Fields. He had a, uh, he did a signature. He put out 300,000 people for uh, on the Big Ten to, to bring it back, and uh, it was amazing how how well that worked. Plus the the, the uh, players' parents as well. Tim, how disappointed are your players? Uh, they're very disappointed. I, they they work, you know, year round to get their bodies in shape and get ready, and and this is what they they look forward to. Um, so it's you know we went through the same thing in the spring with our lacrosse and baseball, softball uh, players, and it's a huge disappointment. Huge disappointment. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, President Trump's talking about trying to get the Pac-12 getting playing, and he's offered up some testing for, for the other leagues. And um, I hope we get everybody playing football because fall is here, and that's what college kids are supposed to be doing is playing some football. Brian Schottenstein, thank you. Tim Leonard, thank you for coming on the program as well. We appreciate both of your time. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.